right, so this next match, here we go. Ray. Oh my gosh, I get to watch Banjo Ray. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's actually pretty silly. I always, so obviously no one ever, no one ever is gonna like fighting up Banjo. Yeah, but I always love watching Banjo Ray. I don't know how crazy it is online. This is offline. What banjo? Yeah, specifically Ray. Though. Oh, I mean, I, I think Ray like, like Ray has no shame when it comes to like going for like some of the more cheesy things. So like, he's gonna I, take full yeah, advantage of the fact he'd be like, haha, I'm on Wi-Fi. Look at my Wonder Wing. Check this out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Ray Ray's scared of play because he's one of those players who don't have like. To like play with no pride. <laughs> Sometimes. Like yeah. he doesn't care how mad you are. Oh yeah, for sure. In fact, he eats it up. Like, he loves that. Anyway, game one, they're starting on Battlefield. Uh, Pikachu gets a lot of movement options from it, but Pikachu is also fairly light and Banjo hits really hard. So even though there are bigger blast zones, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, oh, what's the what's the stage uh, list now? Uh, it's still the same uh, as pre-COVID. We can't add small battlefield because of Smash GG. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it's dumb. Anyway. So yeah. Oh, almost. I think he tried to read it up there. Whoa! Oh my god. Okay, so Ray tried to uh, tried to read Mouse Rat recovering uh, early, like onto stage immediately. But what a punish! Like in no way am I thinking how I'm gonna die there. He probably wasn't ready to di that, but still, I didn't know it was that. I don't really know what Pikachu thinks about the grenade. It's hitting Mouse, mouse Rot a lot, how, but it doesn't how, seem to be doing too much. I haven't been paying like too close of attention, but like, how are the grenades like interacting with the T-Jolts? Because I think that's really like where what it's going to really come down to. Well, it, they're hurt boxes, and I think the grenades are for the most part going to avoid the T-Jolt. Oh yeah, all oh, that, if, yeah. Yep, yeah, you're right. So it's going to explode them. So yeah, he's able to kind of like neutralize a lot of pressure that Pikachu uh, wants to put put on. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, those eggs are always going to be uh, egg bombs. Grenade. It's going to be really annoying in any matchup. But I feel like it's more important that, like Pikachu doesn't ever want to sit back in Seedra. Yeah, he, he does. They want to be comboing you. Yeah, he wants uh, to get in there. He wants to get those like extended strings. But, you know, Mouse Rat's a pretty reserved player, so he doesn't mind hanging back and just waiting for that to just, like, present itself. He won't force it. <gasps> yeah, that's another... So, what's the... Like, do these two have a history? I imagine they do. If they're playing um, it, it's actually been kind of a while since Ray uh, has actually entered Xeno, so this is... Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, he's entered a few times, but then just kind of drops out. This is the first time he, I've seen him commit in a while, so... It's a nice brush of fresh, fresh air to see him... Uh, entering and actually competing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, at least not to my recollection. I don't know uh, much history that they would have uh, with each other. If anything, it would be super early COVID. And uh, since then, I, I, I'm i pretty confident to say that Mousetrat has uh, definitely leveled up since then. Yeah? Yeah. Like, we used to see quite a few, like, SDs from him. Like, it would be, like, not too surprising but now it's very rare so good on him oh, that is so cool i hope i get to see some of these players um in offline tournaments yeah yeah we've seen mouse Rat occasionally like at the irl xenos before covid but uh he is from new jersey so sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to make that trek out yeah right. Ooh. no god damn see that's what that's what Ray was going for first stock, and he ended up dying. Like, you think your opponent's half a stage away, so I could just land uh, at the ledge. Thinking get away with it. But then Banjo's like, no. Yeah. 
I have my invincible move that kills people at 60. You see that? Ray went for the exact same thing, except this time he won the game! What is this from? Uh, this is from- this is a remix album of a Kirby song. Uh, this is called Sunset Beach Mix. It sounds Sunset Beachy. Yeah, it's so good. My friend has been playing um, in our Discord call. We've been playing. Uh, what's that Mario game? With the really good music. All of oh, them. Oh my god! No, no. Odyssey. Not no. It was no. Yes, but no. <laughs> Paper Mario. Oh yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go. Paper Mario uh, OST is goaded for sure. I big time underrated Mario songs for the longest. I'm finding out. Yeah, third eye's finally opened. Feels good, man. A third year. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Ray starts off this game too by double Wonder Woman. I I always find it weird, like in the choices of the resource management by some banjo, just yeah. because it's just like. Did, was the double Wonder Wing worth it at early? Like, maybe it was just a, a failed uh, attempt at just like trying to do B reverse uh, grenades. I'm sorry to be the one to point this out, but. He's winging. I'm sorry. I, I apologize before I said it. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll allow it. <laughs> I don't think you did. You there's so much disappointment. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> Someone had to be. Yeah. So, uh, after all that, the cheese uh, from Jules' commentary, uh, we come back and we see that we're at I'm fairly sorry. high percent. And, uh, you know, it, right now, the, the first stock could go either way, and it looks like it might be going the way of Mouse Rat as he does have stage control. Up. Oh. I mean, there was no way you could do it. One more. Ooh. He gets hit by that, uh... Strong arm. The, the diet Dr. Mario fair. It definitely is. Yeah. And that's scary that it's a diet version of something else. Yeah, that move is terrifying. <laughs> oh. Wow, good dodge. Yeah. I was gonna say... Oh, Master Ed. Oh, yeah. So... I can't play a list of characters in this game. And my reason for Pikachu is that like a tool like the quick attack, I just wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know how to behave. With it. Oh, using it? Yeah, it's like yes, it's my recovery tool, but it's just so good in random situations that I I just end up spamming. So I always think about when think about that when I'm like watching a Pikachu play, like how are you not just an attack? Yeah, it's like, like time you get it, it, it's weird because like it, it doubles as a movement option, but it is also a hitbox. So, oh my lord, almost died to that. And uh, you know, just trying to, because not only are you going to be using it to try and uh, you know try and you know just get that light damage on your opponent, but because it's not a super strong move, you also need to be wary of where are you going next at, with it after you hit them. It's so fast. It's like, uh, it reminds me of Lucario's up B. When he's at really high percent, you just don't know what to do with it. It's just like, what do I do with all this aura? With all this power. Yeah. Alright, well, Mouse Rap bringing this, uh, evening up the Oh stocks. my god. Uh, he got so much in, like, one of And it wasn't even, like, a combo. It was just winning. Yeah, see that that right there, I was dead. That's so dead. That was such a hard recovery. Go way on the spot to help. Okay. Kind of greedy. But I feel it. If you can kill your opponent, at least try to kill your opponent at 89 when you're at 136 as a light character. Go for it. 
Oh, up tilts are out. Ah! All right. Oh. The spacing on that. Not gonna be uh, enough. Banjo. Ray tried to time it so the bombs. Go out. Yeah. Like that. What do you? I think you dash grab here. If you're Ray. Oh, maybe, yeah, because then he can... I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, no matter what, it's like a 50-50, which can be a scary situation, but gonna land only, and only, the last hit of that back air. Just <laughs> I mean, deleted that, him. That would have killed him, like, 30% of them. Why are you on that 22%? God, he's just nuts. I forgot. I forgot how much I love uh, Banjo's directional air. Drive. Why? It, it it looks like it looks like he's on like the subway, but he's not holding on to pole. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> oh! Just barely good DI. It wasn't good, but it was just barely good. We can go either way. Though. Yeah. Okay. What? He wow. did not up smash that. Almost that whole set. All right, Ray's in a really good position now with a 2-0 lead. Oh, this is best of five. Yeah. Top. No, uh, normally we do guess. top six best of five. We did top four best of five today because uh, the, the patch delayed us a bit, and the chat got me to play Mario 64 during the downtime. Uh, not a bad decision. Yeah, no, definitely uh, fun was had. I, I I died in Dark World. I wish I I didn't get any deaths, but you know, I did get all. I was able to finish the run. So. <laughs> you thinking Mouse Rat can bring things back? Like, I mean, close? he's de he's definitely capable as a player to do it, and like yeah, the games have been close. Yeah, like, he's definitely shown that he's capable, so he just needs to, you know, get that little bit of, that more oomph, or just, like, play a little bit safer, uh, just something. Either, I don't know whether he needs to push harder or, or reel back, because it just seems that Ray is just, like, in the driver's seat right now. Ray at the end did the classic uh, projectile, make your opponent want to jump into anti-air. But, like, my mind wasn't even there watching it. Yeah. All right. There we going. Oh, wait. I don't think they left the arena. I think we're just running it on back to PS2. Yep. Devin, how do you like Steve? Um, I saw some pretty, uh, some pretty schmoove Steve yesterday, and I was like, damn. So really already? It's kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. I said this yesterday on commentary, too, where I was just like, Shout out to all the lab monsters who's already making Steve somewhat impressive to watch, but also at the same time, what the hell is wrong with y'all? <laughs> you know, like, excuse me, this character looks complex. I'm not trying to see yeah, that. Isn't there like a great period to be bad with a character? Yeah, like, come on, guys. We need excuses. <laughs> anyway, game three, Ray with a 2-0 lead. And uh, you know what? I, I think I kind of agree why, with Mousetrap just opting to go back to PS2 because, you know, with how big... It was big, really close. Yeah, it was close. And with how big PS2 is, like, just maybe he needs that extra ground to, you know, keep it as competitive as it is. And and just yeah. like that, he's t he's beginning to get push some pretty good advantage. Oh, my God. The grenade. So ah! People usually associate... Oh, my gosh. Uh, like, bigger stages, like, anti rushdown. I think in a matchup like this, you're, you're gonna open Banjo up, but he's gonna have uh, a grenade out that's gonna interrupt him. So with more space, you get more space to operate around. <laughs> oh, got him. Yeah, for sure. It, like the grenades just command the space where like where Pikachu would normally try and opt for go for the, uh, those quick attack harassment. He no longer can do that, which yeah. you know really limits his movement. And like when you're 
when your character arc is really based around your ability to move, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, so the space doesn't really hinder uh, Mouse Rat in this matchup too much. Yeah, like if anything, he just needs the more space just so he can find his bearing, being like, okay, if I can't go in on this, I need like more time to try and do my regular movement because I can't like commit too hard to stuff like that. Right, and Banjo's one of those characters for sure that uh, if you had the choice of playing faster against or safer against, you'd probably play faster. Something like Wonder Wing that's come out at any yeah. moment. What did you say about Wonder Wing? Uh, I can come out. <laughs> Any, any time. Yeah, Whoa! it really can't. Oh no, Whoa! man! I was trying to play you up, Mouse Rat, two games ago, saying how you don't SD anymore, and then you gotta make me a liar. More things change. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still pretty rare, so not to say it doesn't. Oh, happen I thought he though. finally got it. I like Mouse Rat's idea with the uh, the edge garden. You definitely should always try to cover the really high option. Because they always do it. Yeah. And and with good reason. Their recovery, otherwise, is really uh, linear. Yeah. No. It's like you have to you have to mix it up and just try and optimize. And like even if you get punished, be put in a position where like you can still try and come back. You don't want to bet at all with like ultra low stuff sometimes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm sorry to have watched. That. Damn. Just the last part. It was a good fight up until then. What was that? <laughs> that. I just came back specifically for that moment. Time the two frame <laughs> and get out of here. Good lord. Oh my gosh. I... Alright, well. Uh, Lambs the bird. Yeah. Good stuff to Ray. Gonna be. Moving on to fight Joshathan. Losers finals. Losers finals. He's gonna get the rematch versus Joshathan. Uh, he he showed that he definitely had what it takes to to win versus him. But you know that unfortunate SD, uh, that unfortunate immediate SD game two. Uh, you know had Ray didn't catch up the whole time. So we'll yeah. see uh, what kind of adjustments he can make. Uh, maybe not SD. You know, a, a crazy thought. I know. And uh, yeah. But yeah, good good stuff to Ray moving on. 3-0 over Mouse Rat. And honestly, given the recent like results with how active Mouse Rat is, that's kind of an upset just because we haven't seen Ray in a while. 